Hello guys, how are you doing? So, welcome back to my reactions and as you can see I'm going to be watching episode 3 of the volume 7 of Ruby today. So, the last episode was really interesting, we got to see some really uh, good moments. Uh, specifically when they, they all met Ironwood and we got to see Winter uh, finally after so long. Uh, and it was a really sweet moment between her and Weiss as well, like she was so worried about Weiss and what she did, like about stealing the ship and all of that. Uh, but yeah, in the end Weiss just like hugged her and like calmed her down a bit. And I mean, she was just worried about Weiss of course, and it was really nice to see them like reuniting with each other. We, we, we know just how close they are to each other, so that was um, a really nice moment to both of them. And we also got to see a bit of the of these Ironwood plans, and it's quite obvious right now that Mantle is not like, or at least like the Mantle, the people in Mantle are not happy about how Atlas is dealing with things. So there's like a, it's like they are divided. Of course, it's basically what's happening, and it's mostly because they feel like they they are being discarded. They are just in Mantle. They are not safe at all. There's like lots of uh, of issues around, and it's like uh, people in Atlas uh, doesn't care about that, or it's uh, at least how it looks uh, to to them. And the people in Atlas, like the few of them who are actually there, are like safe from everything. And of course, there's this like um like re relationship be between Mantle, like the people in Mantle and Atlas, and. It's clearly not a good one. So yeah, we'll see how I, how Ironwood plans to like deal with all of that. Uh, right now he's like ready to go to uh, to uh, into war basically, and he's even like wanting to 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 make the Vital Festival Arena like a, a big antenna to further increase uh, their communication power and basically to let every kingdom know of the current situation and. Uh, about Salem and all of that and we saw just how like uh, the other guys were kind of like not sure if that was a good thing and I'm I'm not sure if that's a good thing I mean it's probably going to generate a bit of panic and I don't know how Ironwood is prepared for that but I mean we'll just need to watch and and like uh, discover what, what is up to basically uh there's cl clearly some some plan, and we also got to see uh, that they know uh, who the Winter Maiden is, and they, that she is basically safe, I believe. Uh, and yeah, so it's going to be interesting to discover that as well. Uh, it's something that people theorize uh, a lot, like who's the Winter Maiden, and the Summer one uh, as well. Uh, and yeah, I am wondering about that. Like, I I have no idea who it could be. I mean. I doubt it's winter, it would be too obvious, but who knows, maybe it's it's actually her and it's just like a way to trick us, but I don't believe it's winter, but we'll see in time, we'll probably be discovering that in this volume or so I believe, and yeah, it's it's going to be great to, to just see more of Ruby and uh, how this story is going to like advance and we what we are going to see in this volume. Uh, right now we we know that they're going to get new gear, uh, and Penny was like showing them the place around, and that was pr probably a really big one, uh, like a big place. So they had to like walk a lot, and they were already like really tired. They they didn't have much time to to rest. So we'll just see how like what's going to be their like um their reasons for choosing the outfits that they choose like why Blake is going to cut her hair why they get the new outfits like i just really hope that they show us um a bit of like a like a reason for that to happen not just like randomly that's the how they look and that's it so we'll see how they're going to do it i'm just like really curious and really happy to be watching this so yeah I hope you guys are ready, and let's just start the episode. I believe the change is, the change is going to happen in today's episode. And I'm going to miss the the outfits we are used to. 
but we'll see. Just a matter of ge getting used to it. these words. We also learned that he's already there. And he basically worked on the defenses of Atlas, I believe, so... He's the one doing all of the, the hacking and all of that. But yeah. Let's see what they do. I also want to see Penny as a as a hero. Who knows? Maybe this volume she'll do something really big. That would be awesome. We are, we all want to see Penny doing big things, right? It's already so nice to have her back. Yeah, that's the thing. That's probably like the the staff of creation. I don't know if that's the name, I believe it's, it's right, that. Gather round. The relic. Our mission today is to secure the launch site for the Amity Communications Tower. Ooh. Designated area is an abandoned dust mine. Since its closure, the Grim have moved in. The good news is all that untouched dust is still down there, too. Science team says they'll need it for the first phase of their launch. Hmm. Apologies for the mess and for holding on to your weapons for so long. The upgrades you requested were. Uh... Well, it's happening. More than I Weapons. <laughs> Atlas military huntsmen are already hard at work clearing out the surrounding tundra. But Recon has identified a powerful geist that's managed to evade destruction and take several lives. After we increased our numbers, the geist was smart enough to retreat into the mine itself. Meaning it's old and extremely dangerous. Damn. This is our target. There's lots of green there. Weapons and armor should be as requested. But I also took the liberty of reviewing your combat footage from the Viral Festival Tournament. There's some additional enhancements I'd like to suggest. Uh, oh, but for now, uh, these should serve you well enough. The mine was a labyrinth back in the I want day. to know the new powers. There's all sorts of tunnels and chambers the guys can move between. So if we're gonna kill this thing, we'll have to split uh, up and corner it. The remembering. General Ironwood says you've seen your fair share of combat. I trust that man with my life. Oh dear. So tomorrow, I'll be trusting you all too. Hey. We're about to go to the fight. Oh, so it's actually actually happening like this. It just changed and there wasn't many explanations. We get a new song as well. Oh, that's nice. That's basically something we saw before. The trailer, I believe. And this is my favorite part. The yeah, socks. I really wanted to know more of of their decision decisions, though. He's chill, though. That was nice. <laughs> Perhaps you kids won't get yourselves killed after all. <laughs> She meant that as a compliment. They're used to a lot of stuff, you know. This is Alpha Squad. Oh, even Grohl, look at Grohl. that. Proceeding on foot. You've all got fancy new scrolls, so don't forget to use them. Keep your eyes and ears open. Oh, they even have our levels. If you encounter the target, Alpha out. Huh? Oh, the ears. <laughs> oh. Sorry, just not used to the new hair yet. Yep. Is it bad? No. No. no it's good. It's great. Man, I did not sign up to be a baby. She looks so cute. Yeah, well, the rest of us babysit you all the time. 
I really don't mind the short hair at all. Looks really cute on her. I wanted to know the reason. Or if it's just like... I don't know. Like a decision they made, but we didn't know about it. Yep. Without heaving aura projected aura, the cold of Solitas can kill you in a matter of hours. I suddenly don't feel as bad about leaving Oscar behind. <laughs> can we talk about that again? What about it? We're really not going to tell Ironwood what happened to Oz? Oh, yeah. What we learned about Jin? About Salem? We are. She was hiding it. We will. But you saw how things looked when we flew into Atlas. The General's heart seems to be in the right place, but that doesn't mean we should trust him yet. We need yep. to play along for a while before we make any major decisions. Okay. How did Oscar feel about that? We need to be really careful. Uh, probably shouldn't keep running around with an ancient relic on a keychain, you know? That's but a good idea. I know you'll keep it safe in Atlas. Ruby, uh, hiding things from Ironwood. Doesn't that feel like what Ozpin did to us? Yeah, a bit. Gotta but it's like he said, he can't trust anyone. Really used to working with other huntsmen in the They're field, but going to understand Ospin after this, probably. A long time ago. I just found working alone tends to be for the best. Well, I think that's a shame. <laughs> Alpha here. Give me an update. The connecting ice tunnels seem clear. We should be approaching the actual mine any minute now. This is so exciting! It feels like we're an actual huntsman team! I, um, like what you did with your outfit, Ren. Of course we you do. should probably stay focused on the mission. <laughs> oh, for oh. Nora. Okay. Oh, she wants... like your outfit, too. Yeah, she wanted Ren to I'm say it. <laughs> yeah, oh, poor Nora. It's been a cave in the middle. Always the same thing. Not sure if it's recent or was caused by the original accident. Either way, we'll have to do a little problem solving. Understood. Let us know. Yeah, I love Blake. You okay? I just realized where we are. This mine was closed after an explosion. Oh, it's the one. I remember this disaster from before. Or rather, I remember how furious it made my father. Where Ilya lost her parents, I believe. I wish I could take back the years of pain my family has caused the Faunus. And all of my complacency in it. This society is set up for Faunus to be at the bottom, and humans are willing participants. They benefit from doing nothing to help us, but there are still those who actively abuse us. Anyway, I didn't come over here looking to solve systemic societal issues. Harriet found a gap in the rubble we think one of you could fit through. Ideally, someone with a knack for seeing in the dark? Um. Uh, oh, of course. Of course, Blake. <laughs> Oh, Yang looks so adorable. I really love their designs. Right, Take a look around. Is there any dust in the immediate area? Mine cards, uh, debris. No dust though. Great, then it should be safe to blast our way through. Okay. Probably Grims though. <laughs> Damn! Okay, that was scary. These ones. Oh, the caterpillar ones or something like that. You saw in the trailer that there's some new ones. Yeah, lots of them. And look at the animation though. Like That's they look so disgusting. great. Yep. <laughs> but really cool at the same time. They look really well detailed. So that's the upgrades. Ooh, like a boomerang. That's cool. Um, what? I swear this girl looks like Ver Ver Vernal. What was that power? Contact. 
Ähm. Is there to save Ren? A very oh. head first approach. Yeah, well, that's just kind of our style. <laughs> yep. <sighs> one left. I got it. Um, or that one got it. Whoa. There's someone's makes you super fast, just like me. Very cool. Though, based on your reaction time, I'd say I'm a little faster. Oh. Mm. Are we gonna get the race? All squads head towards our position. Ooh, he has like a rod. Um. Oh, of course, this is happening. It's like the big boss. Yeah, there's dust around, so that's really dangerous. Darn it. Target escaped. Last scene headed east. Thanks for the Look on the hole. That could have been bad. I wouldn't thank me. My semblance brings misfortune. All right. Sometimes I can't keep it under control. That's so. Well, hey. Don't beat yourself up about it. My semblance is good fortune. Lucky you, huh? Is it? Charlie, bravo. Okay, that that's really interesting. Part of the mind. Crow and I <laughs> be far they counter each other. Damn. Caution. This room is highly active with dust energy. Triggering yep. it could ruin the launch site. And vaporize us. Yep, <laughs> I mean the explosion. I thought the target was supposed to be in here. <gasps> yeah, it's probably going to fall on you. Yep. It's a big one. It added dust to its body? How are we supposed to Help! These guys semblances though. Marrow. They want to cut. Look at those parts with the chest, with dust. Super speed. Basically just watching the Ace Ops in action. <laughs> what would you guys do without me? I really like the choreography so far. Oh, now we grabbed it. That uppercut, though. Picking the that dust. Harriet. Yeah, I, I was hoping that Ruby would catch one. <laughs> she was faster this time. <laughs> there you go. I thought you said your semblance was like mine. It. Is? 
I've seen other speed summonses before. That... that was different. I think there's more going on than you think. Wait until she sees what she could do with her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> that would be insane. Hmm. No. I chalked that one up to talent. Atlas Control, this is Clover. Mission accomplished. Nice. Yeah, thanks for the lift! Man. Yeah, these guys are so mad. Is that Tyrion? We know he's a <laughs> just like that. Holy Who's damn! You? Me? Oh, well, I'm someone just like you. Someone who wants to mix things up around here. Yeah, of course you do. <laughs> damn. Kyrian just doing his thing. And while he's like, uh, like a, a bad guy, of course, he's such a, a great character. And I really like the, the voice acting on him. It's really, really cool. But yeah, we, we got to see like a lot of, um, of the Ace Ops in action. And this last boss was basically them fighting this Grimm. And Team Ruby and Juniper. Uh, not Juniper, because Piri is not there, but yeah. Uh, the other three were just like um, watching all of this action and they were really like amazed by what they were seeing. So yeah, still sad that, uh, not sad but kind of more like fun to see that Nora is still like expecting uh, Ren to recognize her of course. And he's still like not really like uh, pleasing her. But yeah, it's, it's just a thing that we are used to and it's really funny. And I mean, we, we even have the chibis with a lot, lots of those moments. So yeah. Anyway, it was a great, uh, a great episode. We got to see them completing this mission, and we also learned uh, about some of the semblances. So there was uh, specifically one that I was, like, um, I don't know. The guy just seemed like to stop time around him, and like the the Grim just stopped in front of him. I don't know exactly what he did, what he did, but. I'm sure we will uh, get to learn that at some point. Um, also, um, it was really curious to to know that this uh, this other guy has a semblance uh, like Crow, but instead of uh, like having like a bad luck uh, charm like uh, Crow has, it's like a good luck a good luck one. So, if that's true, it's really curious uh, to know that. And I mean, it kind of feels like Crow and that guy could like really get along and it's it would be great to have those two around i mean they they would basically nullify each other or at least the other guy would nullify uh the like rose bad luck and that would be like a good thing to him i guess uh but yeah anyway really fun episode i was just a bit disappointed that we didn't get to get to see a lot of reasoning uh, behind the choices of those outfits it was basically just uh and his father, uh, who basically did uh, those changes, but there should li uh, like be a reason for Blake and John, uh, and some of the other ones uh, who changed uh, their hairstyle. Like, what's the reasoning of, of that, and why did they decide on that? I'm just like sad that they didn't go like just a little bit more into that, like just showing them talking to each other a bit, like saying, like Blake saying saying a bit about. Uh, how she wants to cut her her, her hair and and something like that, uh, but yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately, we didn't get that. But it doesn't cause uh, too much harm, I guess. Anyway, they completed this, and we know that Tyrion and Watts are around uh, Mantle, and they're doing some bad things, of course. Uh, so yeah, I'm kind of curious to see how so when Cinder and Neo are going to join. Uh, I believe they're going uh, to Mantle as well. Uh, but yeah, that will eventually happen. It was really cool to see all of that. I believe we saw most of the things uh, that they shown us in the trailer, uh, at least. Uh, so yeah, from now on, it's it's going to be like some entirely new developments, and everything will be totally new. So yeah, that will be really cool, and I can't wait to watch it uh, next week. So I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this episode, and if you did, please like and subscribe to the channel. 
And you can also join my Discord and my Patreon if you want to get early access to my full reactions. So yeah, I'll see you guys next week for another episode of Ruby. So see ya!